Hello, I'm Brian McLaren and I'd like to show you my technique of using photonic therapy to treat a person. If you'd come in and take a seat please. I use a gas lift typist chair without arms. We'll show you why later. And I'll lower the chair to suit the ladies. If you'd take your shoes off please. My, my torches are kept in a disinfectant between clients so I have a nice sterile unit to start with each time. If you put a foot up here, uh, thank you, and we go up to the knees, and that's all we need. To find the first point, run up between the big toe and the second toe, drop your heel, thanks, run up between the big toe and the second toe to where the bones divide and we find a little sore spot just in there and place the torch on the point for five seconds. One, two, three, four, five. Finding an anatomical landmark like the knobby bones of the ankle, fall into the hole behind the ankle. One, two, three, four, five. Same on the other side. Everybody's built in the same proportion and we want the lady's hand width from her little finger across, which is three of my fingers, so if I'm measuring her point on her leg, it's three of my fingers. If she was going to measure it on my leg, she would probably have to use her whole hand to accommodate my distance. So it's her hand's width above her ankle bone on the back of her shin bone. The last two points on the leg, the six points and the last two, are the most difficult to find. And this is why we're doing this little video. If we come up the shin bone, it comes up and curves out like a wine glass under the knee. So we just come up to where it starts to curve and come out between the first, second muscle, there's a little groove. And this is the most important point in the whole body and it does everything. It'll raise blood pressure, lower blood pressure, increase stomach acidity, lower stomach acidity. If we run up the leg to the head of the fibula, there's a knobby bone Everybody wants to find the bones on the knee, but it's best if you come up the leg to find that bone and then just come 45 degrees in front of it. And this point relaxes the ligaments and releases, takes away all pain. So this is a very important point also. To reiterate these points, I'm just going to mark them with a magic marker. Between the two points of the bones of the foot, from the ankle bone back into the hole, on each side, the lady's hands width above her ankle bone on the back of her shin bone, running up the shin bone to where it curves, come out between the first and second muscle, and then run up the leg and we find the head of the fibula and just come 45 degrees in front of it. There are six points on the legs. One, two, three, four. These are easy to find. This point is the most important point on the body and it does everything. So it's probably the most difficult to find. You come up the shin bone until the shin starts to curve and you come out between the first and second muscle, you find a groove. Now another way to find it is as my finger is the same width as the lady's thumb, if I run up the shin bone and I have bone all around, I can sort of see across my knuckle. If the lady puts her thumb down her leg, so she's touching the bone in the front and I fall off the head of the, the uh, crest of the fibula, crest of the tibia, I beg your pardon, across the knuckle, I'm going to fall into the point. So the point becomes her thumb width out from the bone in a sort of, we can draw a little triangle. The next one, of course, run up to find the bone and then come down 45 degrees. Everybody wants to put this up high and they tend to, because we're treating points down here, they tend to make a mistake and come up the inside of the leg. There are other points here, there's a lot of other points and they're quite important, but for our standard points, one, two, three, four, five, six. On the arms, there's five points. So there are six points on both legs, of course, and five points on both arms. So the only point that's not in a hollow is this point when the finger and thumb are closed there's a mound of tissue and it's on the top of the mound.
The next point is easy to find. It rhymes in Chinese to say with your hand on your chest and your thumb facing upwards in front of the end of the elbow crease. So these points will uh, lower your blood pressure if it's high, raise your blood pressure. They're good for uh, points for sinus problems and a range of other problems. So if you learn where these main points are, there's 2,066 points on the body and I can then sh tell you in relationship to these points where everything else is. There are two points, one at each end of the wrist crease and one which is two of the ladies' thumb widths, one thumb width, two thumb widths, up from the wrist crease. So we'll mark these and I always make the joke that once I've marked a person, they're not allowed to have a bath for six weeks. It saves on soap and they'll find out who their friends are. But at least it allows you to find a way of treating yourself. So this point, stronger than any known Western drug to stop vomiting, nausea. Uh, every point has a number of functions and so it's not a matter of what does this point do. Some of these points set the brain up to do tell the brain where to do it, others set the brain up to tell the brain what to do. This point, for example, is the master point of the face and mouth and in combination with a point on the foot will take out away teeth ache. So we have six points on the legs, five on the arms and three down the back. The first point, the base of the skull, there's an archway. So we have a point on either side of the base of the skull. So that became 6 and 5 or 11, and this becomes point number 12. 13, just hold your head up, thanks. Level with the tip of the shoulders, the base of the neck, the seventh cervical vertebrae. So it's not where your necklace hangs, it's here. And if we come from there and fall 45 degrees, we fall into a little hole. Now these two points are the lady's hand width, or three of my fingers apart. These two points, once again, three of my fingers are the lady's hand width apart. And if she was to throw her hand over her shoulder, it's where her big finger falls. With a little finger on the knobby bone, there we have the 45 degrees. Okay. While I'm on the shoulders, and before we go any further, what I like to do, thank you, if you undo one button, I just walk up the shoulders with my fingers, and the tissue should be soft and bouncy. And as we get up, we find a sore spot. It's hard, it's firm, and this is quite irritating to the person I'm doing it to. Just press around there for four or five seconds. And this is just a little localized area of fibrous tissue or a fibromyalgia. And we just want to irritate it and that causes the brain to release enkephalins and other small painkillers. And then when we put the light on, the brain releases endorphins and cortisones. So once again, walking up the shoulder, you find the normal tissue and then we find the abnormal. Now either your client can tell you, yes, that's sore, or you can feel it. Okay, if you'd stand up for me, please. And turn your chair and sit you down again. And under your belt, thanks. The last point I treat and the top of your trousers. Level with the last rib, an inch and a half off the spine. Once again, the lady's hand with the part. So we have this tram track running down the back of these points. And if this point's number bladder 11, and this point's bladder 23. We can count all the way down as required, and the 30 is level with the crack in the bottom. So we go 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, down. Having treated the 14 standard points, putting my hands on the hips, where my thumbs fall is the sacroiliac joint. And once again, 
I just palpate the tissue, I find a sore spot, <laughs> and uh, give it a little bit of a massage. Don't want to hurt the person, but we do want to just irritate the tissue. The light will go through the white cloth, so we can sort of go through white or red, but if the lady had uh, dark colour dundies on, we just have to move them sideways. <coughs> of course, if you're treating yourself, it doesn't become a problem. Once again, where the thumb falls, you can find a sore spot. It's just a matter of massaging it, a little bit of an irritation. Put the light on it. So besides the 14 points, I always massage the trapezius muscles here and the gluteal muscles here. And then when we go back onto the trapezius, I don't know it'll show on the camera, you can see a little red spot on the skin. That's where the sore spot was. The rest of the skin's gone white, but the sore spot has stayed red. So you can read the skin. But as we go back up over that and press on it, that's no longer sore as it was. It's now quite soft and bouncy. So the skin stays red where it was sore, but we've already released enough chemicals from the brain to, uh, and this side you can see wasn't as red as the other side, so this wasn't as sore as the other side. So we've already released a lot of the chemicals that cause the person to heal. So now it's just a matter of treating whatever the specific problem was, either bad knees or whatever. Thank you.